G'day people, welcome to the Old Blokes Workshop. This is the first of what I hope will be a, a series of videos. But the other day I came across an old tomahawk or a small axe, whatever you want to call it. It was looking pretty tired. I thought I might give it a go at making a new handle and just sprucing it up a bit. Wood at the uh, head of the axe is all pretty chewed up and rotten. The rest of the handle's not too bad. The axe has got some surface, or axe head has got some surface rust on it. I would normally take something like this and put in a uh, vinegar bath or whatever for a day or two, but I'm a bit impatient today, so I thought I'd just go straight to the wire brush. Well, as you can see, it's actually not doing too bad a job. It's getting the uh, bulk of it off. It's only fairly light surface stuff. So I think for the purposes, that'll do it. Uh, took a bit of work. Now here's where I, I made my first blunder. I'll tell you about it a bit later on and why. But anyway, it's while I'm sharpening the, uh, the tip of the axe head. And then I go back and remove the uh, drill with a wire brush. And you've got to keep a close eye out here for something. Did you just see it? It was a strop, <laughs> which I put in the vise, but didn't have the camera facing the right way. So anyway, I polished up the tip, and then I thought, Jimmy DeResta style, I'll just, uh, I'll just try it out on the arm. At first I didn't think it was working, but hey, fancy that, it actually shaved my hairy arm. Here we are, got a bit of leftover uh, West Australian trio. Give that a bash, I think. See how it goes. Yep, that'll fit. Right. So, yeah, I grabbed a pen and a pencil in this case, and I traced out around the old handle on the shag, ready to go over to the uh, bandsaw. Well, I've cut out the rough shape on here, and now I'm just trying to take off some of the edges. I uh, haven't got the camera in a great spot, but I think you can get pretty much the idea. Again, I watched a Jimmy Duresta, the Jimmy Duresta uh, video on this, and so it gave me a few ideas. There's some things I'm doing here I've never done before, and I suppose that's the, the freehand carving of a shape like this. So one corner off, head towards the other corner. And it was sort of heading towards here. I thought the better of what I was doing and grabbed a small bit of cut off to uh, push it through the rest of the way. So having a bit of a look at it, I thought, well, I've never tried this backward shaping on a bandsaw blade business before, but hey, we'll give it a go. Some fairly deep scratches left, so out with the uh, very coarse rasp there and see how we go. The final stage is to take out the orbital sander and uh, see if we can get the rasp marks off it. Takes a bit of work, bit of time, but eventually we got there. And then we're on to the uh, belt sander and shape the, uh, the head of the axe bit. Again, camera sitting on the spindle sander. It's only running up against the middle of it, so I've got a fair chunk of that in the picture. But I'll sort something else out for another time. So from there, we head back to the vise and continue shaping up for the fitting of the axe head itself. And then I thought, well, I seem to have a little bit of uh, fair excess here, so rather than shape all of that, I sized it up against it and uh, just leaving a little bit proud, marked it off for cutting that excess off.
the way that goes and back to the shaping. The shaping didn't take a lot longer, it was just a matter of working out where the high spots were, double checking whether the axe head was better off one way or the other, and then uh, just take it down that little bit further. Well, off camera I fitted the head, used a uh, bit of a wedge in the top to hold it in, and then applied some uh, mineral oils just to give it a bit of protection and freshen it up. It's actually quite a nice timber this one. Well here's the proof in the pudding. Uh, does it cut? Well it seems to and with my record with sharp things it's probably better it's not too sharp. So the end product a bit rough but certainly I think it'll do the job. Well, you'll remember that I said uh, early in the video that Making a, about making a blunder when I was sharpening the axe head. Well, this is the reason why. I'd recommend if you're doing this yourself, leave the uh, sharpening until after you've fitted the axe head. Well, that's the first episode of the Old Blokes Woodshop. Uh, I thought next time I might have a go at showing you what happens when I fit a new hook Velcro system to my orbital sander. Meantime, the axe is done. Now... Where do I put it?